Good morning, Jaden. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, JJ. I think everyone's bigger and more grown than I remember last. <laughs> but I guess that's what happens. Well, can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Well, good morning. What a beautiful morning it is, the sunlight coming in together. And as I was thinking about what to talk a bit about this morning, I wanted to notice something that I've kind of noticed about life and the way people interact. So I do have a phrase here, which is, sometimes people don't get along. Do you know what this phrase means? Allie, do you know what it means when people don't get along? They don't understand. They don't understand? Yeah, it's something like that, that sometimes people have trouble understanding each other, in fact, don't get along with one another. And sometimes when that can really happen, it can seem like two people really can't mix or get to know each other at all, okay? So I want to show you something about that. I have two jars here, okay? I have some water here and something else here. What I want to imagine is these are two different people. I'm going to see if they can get along and understand each other and mix together, okay? So that's what we're going to try to get. So I have an empty jar, and I'm going to pour so this one in here, okay? There you go. And we're gonna pour the other one in here. Okay, oh, are they mixing together? Well, let's see here. You know it's a good way to try to mix things? You can try to put people together and shake them together, okay? Maybe that's a way that will help them mix, okay? Should I try that? Yeah? Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's kind of mixing. See the colors mixing there, right? Let's see what happens over time. Uh oh, what's happening over time? I don't know if my experiment worked, guys. <laughs> Maybe it needs to sit for 10 minutes, but you'll start to see there's starting to be a layer right near the top. Sometimes people mix, but other times people don't mix that well. And when people don't mix, we're gonna give that a minute to sit there. Sometimes when people don't mix, I could see it kind of like this. I don't really like you, I don't understand you, I don't want to spend time with you or get along at all. And in fact, the Bible has a strong word for this. Oh, now it's starting to change. Look at the bottom and the top color. They look like they were mixed, but I'm not really, really sure if they're mixed. And sometimes there can be a very strong word when two people don't mix and can't get along with one another. And that word is enemy. And sometimes two people can become enemies and their friends and their friends can become enemies. Two whole countries can become enemies. And sometimes when that happens, terrible things happen like a war. And sometimes we think, can these two things ever, ever mix? Hmm, I think it might be impossible to mix them. I could shake them again, but look what happened in just about a minute. They started separating again. And the Bible's actually very interested in this, that sometimes people can't get along, and it's a very, very painful, uh, awful, awful thing that can happen when two people start seeing each other as enemies. And what happened in the Bible, there were two different groups of people, and one were called Jews, that is God's people, the people of Israel, and all the people that weren't part of Israel, sometimes they had a lot of problems with each other. In some places in the world, they might still even call each other enemy, and terrible, terrible things happen. And sometimes for me, I wish, oh, I wish everyone get along. Maybe if I put everyone in a jar and shake them, get along. But unfortunately, that doesn't work. What the Bible wants to teach us is that Jesus did come for a very important reason. Pastor Allen will never be able to get these two to mix. It kind of looks like it mixes, but guess what? You wait another 30 seconds and you'll see they actually didn't mix. But I want to share one Bible verse with you that I find very interesting. In the book of Ephesians, it says, Christ has made peace between Jews and Gentiles. And these words you might not be that familiar with, Jews and Gentiles. But they describe two different groups of people that did things very, very differently. And you can sometimes almost feel like, could they ever mix? And sometimes in our churches, we'll have disagreements or some people don't like each other. We might always wonder, can they ever mix? But one of the special things that Jesus did in his amazing plan through the cross was actually to bring different kinds of people together and to make peace between them. 
And so I hope as we, uh, sometimes in life, you will see that certain people just can't seem to mix. But what we really need is not what I can do or you can do, but we need, really need God's help and to remember that Jesus is the one who makes peace. So let's pray together as we think about um, this idea, right? Let's join our hearts together as we pray. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much for our children and babies, both at our English, uh, Cantonese, and Mandarin services. Lord, we pray as they grow older, they will see uh, how often there are problems uh, in between people, and we can't get along, and sometimes we even become enemies. Uh, Jesus, please make peace between us. Um, help us to trust in you, to ask for your love and forgiveness and mercy that we can share with one another. And I pray that you bless our, our children uh, with a heart of peace that you've given them and a reminder of what you've done with all people. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks, children. Go back to your seats, and next we'll have our scripture lessons. <laughs>